In Atlanta, we've now faced the media glare of a city shamed and disgraced by the state's investigation of systemic school district test cheating. As a city, though, we need to move on. Now, now what's interesting is that generally at APS, you didn't hear much about the business management of the organization. Things seem to be pretty fluid and, and efficient there in terms of, you know, the, the fuel or the buses or the food service or the building program. It kind of went off without a hitch. But the area where we needed to have the greatest focus, the students, still lacked in accountability. And that's what's interesting. So I think there has been a conversation about dividing the two, yeah. having operations to continue on its own, but having the educational component to be something that you have a separate set of eyes and ears on because it is the core business. Those of us who really care about this district, whether you attend it, have children in it, or just care about kids being educated with the highest standards, we have to decide to stay in this conversation. It's time for us to just decide to pick up the pieces. I mean, there are going to be some on the floor, um, but, you know, that happens in life. And now it's time for us to get it right. We have to figure out how we're going to raise the bar on excellence. That was something that Dr. Hall actually said. It's time for us to do it um, and really work as a team, all the way from the governor down to the lowest parent in the district. Everybody needs to be a part of this conversation, not just the teachers, not just the business community, not just the superintendent, not just politicians. This is our problem or it's our opportunity. And I really like to focus on the opportunity side and look at how great we can make the lives of young people if we all participate.